Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to set up the Bluetooth connection with your little arm using uh, the Android app so that you can actually control it using the app. Uh, the first thing you want to do is actually pair the two devices and in order to do that you're going to want to go into settings, uh, select Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is turned on and then you'll want it's searching for available devices right now. Uh, I'll let it finish up the search. Your device name will be HC06. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one since it's the only one I have uh, turned on right at the moment. Um, it's going to ask for a PIN number and the PIN number is 1234. 1234. If that doesn't work, try 0000, um, but it's generally 1234. Say OK. OK, so now we're paired, um, which means that the Android device has the Bluetooth connected and stored in its memory so it knows its IP address and it can actually connect to it through an app. So now we can go to the actual app itself. Go ahead and open up the little arm app here. And then we're going to go ahead and select connect to Bluetooth. And it's only got one option up here. If you have multiple Bluetooth devices there may be more options. But just look for the one that ends with HC06 right there. Select it. Let it load up. And now you'll see that this little light has just gone solid. A minute ago it was blinking. Here, I'll go ahead and kill the app and we'll uh, I'll let you see this. Uh, there we go. Now you can see that the light is blinking again, which means it does not connect it to an app and it doesn't have a stable serial connection there. So I'll go ahead and open up the app again. Connect Bluetooth. Connect that. It's blinking. Blinking linking and now it's solid. Alrighty, so now we have a stable Bluetooth connection. Now in order to get it set up, this, this arm is in its home position based on what was inside of the board on the arm itself, but we want it synced up with the app. So to do that, just go ahead and grab any one of the scroll bars and just scroll it a little bit and the arm will move into a position. This is now basically the home position for the app. The arm is matched up to where all the scroll bars are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed here so it's easier to kind of see. And you can see I've got the gripper. Let me move the elbow down so it's a little bit better in, in frame a little bit more. So we can move the gripper. Uh, move the shoulder. Just like that. Move the base. Move the elbow. There we go. All right. Now if you want to record something, I'm going to go ahead and hit playback so you know I don't have anything pre-recorded says there's no file which means I haven't recorded anything in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just make it wave a little bit here. So you can go ahead, go up, record that waypoint, record that waypoint, record that waypoint, record that waypoint and then play it back. And now we've got the arm kind of trained to wave and go back and forth. When it's all done with its recording, it goes back to a home position. So you can see it's right back here in a spot that I didn't really record. It went up and down and up and down, and then it came back to this spot. That is natural in the app. It always goes back to its main home position when the app is finished. And that home position will vary from one arm to the other based on how it was put together. Um, but you'll see it just by when you start up the app and see where it all centers on. So let's go ahead and clear the recording. Now if I try to play back, it says there's no file, which means I haven't recorded anything since I cleared it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the shoulder down. Yeah, down. And then to the right. Record that, and then I'm going to go to the left and record that. So that's the last position in this recording, so that'll be the end of it, but then it will still go back to that home position. So let's go ahead and see that. So it moves here, it moves over there, and then it goes home. And that's all there is to it. Nothing too special about that. All right, that's how to connect the Bluetooth app. Now it's paired. Anytime you open up the little arm uh, app, it'll be ready to go. You'll just have to select that Bluetooth module. If you have multiple little arms, then you might want to go back into the settings and in your Bluetooth selections, take this one and change its name. There's an option to rename. And I'm just going to call this one uh, Little Arm. Little Arm 1. 
HC06. Okay? And now this one is paired up and I know which one it is and it goes with this particular little arm. If you've got a couple of them then you can pair up a couple on Bluetooth and go back and forth and control them. Right now this one is just controlled uh, or powered with the plug-in but if you have your battery pack or something then you've got a really nice portable option um, and you can go from there. So that's how you use the Bluetooth app.